hello everyone let's look at this uh, question from integration i hope you are in best of your health at the moment uh, this looks to me more of a trigonometry question than a question of integration but anyway let's um, jump into the question but before that as i told you looks more of a trigonometry question so whenever you hear of the word trigonometry uh, the list of formulas come into your mind right from the, the 10th standard in india we study trigonometry and from then on uh, the list of formula continues to increase so uh, here also as uh, trigonometry is there formula will obviously be there so uh, to generalize uh, uh, let me give you a formula of sin 2 theta and this is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta this formula we will use throughout this question and i hope this will be the only formula which you will use apart from integration so if i break the numerator because denominator is not further breakable so your numerator can be written as 2 sin half of the angle that means 2x cos of the same angle that is 2x divided by sin x dx now as i can see further i can use the formula so if i break this sign 2x also so it will be 2 sin x cos x 1 2 is already there so this will be 4 sin x cos x and 1 cos 2x is already there divided by sin x now good thing happened that uh, this sin x got cancelled okay now what as i can do uh, i can take 1 2 out i can be there with 1 2 inside and i have cos x cos 2x now what formula can i think of now i thought only one formula i have to use but again 2 cos a cos b so cos and cos terms uh, comes when we have cos a plus b uh, the cos a plus b formula is because here it is a plus b minus sign will come opposite things happen in cos so cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b similarly i write for cos a minus b so that is cos a cos b plus of sin a sin b now focus on what i want i want the formula for 2 cos a cos b so i want this term to be alive so if i want so simply add this so if i add i will get cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is this will get cancelled and i will get 2 times of cos a cos b which i obviously want so 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so coming back to the integral this can be written as cos of a plus b that means x plus 2x that is 3x plus cos a minus b so cos x minus 2x now focus here this will be cos minus x but i know that cos of minus theta is cos theta only while sin of minus theta becomes minus sin theta so i don't have to worry about this this is simply cos x so this will be uh cos of x minus 2x that became cos of minus x that is cos x dx now integration of cos x derivative of cos is minus sign derivative of cos ax is minus sin ax divided by a but integration of uh cos ax is sin ax divided by a why it is so 
it is so only because if you look at the derivative of sin x so this is cos x so if i uh, because integration is the reverse process of differentiation so if i go reverse side if i integrate rhs which is cos x with respect to x i will end up getting sin x yes obviously a plus constant c is always there when you go for indefinite integration but this is the case so here if you want you can break it into two different integral integral cos 3x dx plus 2 times integral cos x dx and if i use this formula so this will be 2 sin 3x divided by 3 plus 2 sin x divided by 1 that doesn't make any sense so this is my final answer so integral of sin 4x divided by sin x dx ends up giving me 2 by 3 sin 3x plus 2 times sin x let's see you can take two common from the first two that is uh, completely your choice so i hope you enjoyed this question with the help of this question we just recapitulated uh, revised our trigonometry portion as well as most of the part of this problem was at uh, till end it was trigonometry only at last we'll discuss some basic formulas of uh, integration that uh, uh, the analogy that integration is the reverse process of differentiation so if uh, you say that uh, Uh, let's say d by dx of any function of x. Let's say a. I am saying that a is a function of x. Is b, then integration of b dx will become a. I am just imagine that a and b are functions of x. Then this works. That if derivative of a is b, then integration of b will give you a. So I use the same thing in case uh, of this. No formula to remember here. Just uh, this was to remember, obviously. a basic one otherwise i don't think uh, this was also a basic one this we derived uh, you can learn also that's completely your choice but learning uh, brings a lot of confusion that's why uh, i always prefer deriving it because it hardly takes uh, about 1 minute uh, i was explaining so it took uh, a bit more time but uh, hardly takes 1 minute to derive and uh, get to your final answer uh ultimately it was a easy question only thanks and have a very nice day